let's get to start a demo first of firebase hosting for net.js and this is that net.js application which i just build it and deploy on firebase hosting and this is that you know default domain which is provide that firebase hosting and if you go back in here that firebase you know console firebase uh, uh, hosting uh, server so they here you will see that in this hosting environment you able to see this is that default domains which is they provided right and this is your build uh, which is just you know published in your this uh, console firebase hosting server so let's start how we can you know implement that so before you implement i especially recommend if you first time visit my channel go to my channel this is my dot net real world example and there is the other many section actually i just session i just created for that firebase hosting for that you know uh, blazor application you know uh, for that uh, react app angular app you know many app like all that app actually i just covered and also i'm um, one more thing i will especially recommend if you first time right uh, for this google firebase concept so go to my playlist and this is that complete playlist you can watch it like how we can start what are the requirement what are the prerequisitions right so you will get that more idea before you start so first what i need to do simply just open a command prompt let me open that command prompt here and go to the directory which is like where i want to create a new next next.js app right so let me redirect to that so this is my directory so not this guy this guy right and cls and here i'll just have to create it my uh, new applications for that next.js so how we can create it it's very simple uh you have to just install that node.js right so once you install the node.js definitely this command will work if it is not so this command not work and for you know creation new app so you have to use this you know create next app and this is just you can refer for that latest one so if you use that latest one so it will create a for the latest application so let me hit enter and it will asking okay what is that your project name so i would like suggest over here for my project name is that you know next firebase right so whatever name you can choose it and also they are asking okay it is type script you want to type script yes and yes lint yes will wind css so if you want so you can just use yes or neither you can put the node so i as of now i will use yes everything i will just put it the whatever default setting i will keep it that default settings and that done and it will take some time to uh, get the, all the package and create your application so need to wait okay so once it's got success that means your application got created and it is created for this folder right so quickly go to that folder for example cd and use that uh, folder name or directory name whatever you say so go to inside and just open a bs code whatever project has been created so using the code.js and it will open over here now see this is your application got created as a default application of next.js right it is a simple architecture folder architecture we have that app folder and we have that public folder which will contain the static things right app actually using the routing concept and all and if you see other things like okay these are the configuration part over here right so what i need to do simply i'll just first i'll check it okay whatever the default uh, project has been created that is perfectly working fine or not so go to the terminal and let me quickly run uh, fire one command npm run and so once i hit that npm run it is providing you know some example okay how we can start right so if i run our locally so i will use that dev command right so npm run dev once i hit enter it will start you know creating a local environment so this is my local environment so what i will do simply just copy or directly you can just click over here go to that browser and just paste it over here so once you paste it and run it now see this is your default uh, application got created right so that is fine right so that we have to make sure first okay whatever application is running this is running perfectly fine so close it that now we'll start to you know deployment process so for before starting the deployment process you have to require you know that 
firebase hosting a login right so a logged in over here so you have to go to that you know console firebase google.com and just hit enter and just logged in with your on a google account so i have a google account already if you don't have so just create it and log in so once you log in now it is logged in successfully right so there is a way ideally you can just create project over here or ideally you can just project directly in this uh by that command prompt as well so there is up to you whatever you want so there is a many session actually i just covered both way so you can check out but is as of now what i will do i will just create from here directly in this terminal as well so once you make sure your login completed so you have to install let me clear it and you have to install that firebase tool so let me check firebase is there is not so once you click that firebase now see the firebase is installed my machine so if he is if it is not installed in your machine please install that firebase tool uh by the command line this is simple command line right firebase and global and then in firebase install that global tools like that okay so i will not going to do that but yeah simply you have to install and once you install uh then you have to just use that one command firebase in it right so once you firebase in it it will just ask you know some questions right so what is that are you sure want to that proceed yes i'm definitely want to share it so once you click yes so there is another option so you have to go to this option right so let me quickly zoom in for you this is that hosting configuration file uh firebase hosting and this option right so you have to use this guy and how we can choose it simply you just have to press that space bar so it will show you as a green tick right and then once you green tick hit enter and then it is asking okay do you have an existing project so if do you have an existing project you can create uh, use it that one but i will over here i will create a new project so that i will show you from that is scratch i will create a new project and what would be the your project name that you have to specify over here so my project name for example next js firebase hosting demo right whatever name you can just put it and then whatever you know project id you want so you can keep it or just keep it the default and once you set up so it will take some time to create that project so now see uh, your project got created for example this is your project name next firebase hosting demo so that also you can make sure go to your you know uh, logged in your console firebase over here that will refresh once you refresh see this is just newly created that project right so once you get project created confirm so then uh, you have to proceed the next one okay now see it is asking now it is asking what is your default folder directory right so my default directory would be for this application is out folder why i put it out don't worry i'll tell you so hit enter and now it is asking okay it is a you know single app application yes it is single application you can just yes if it is not you can just put in no and github uh, it is asking again uh, github uh, automatic build required no as of now i will not do but yeah an upcoming session will cover this session also so now see all that configuration actually got created for example they have just created you know this uh, firebase json file which is a uh, public folder and all automatically created so we don't need to bother about that and also that firebase src file and this this one and also that out folder right so these are default actually folder architecture they have to create it and now the final command actually now see as of now out folder nothing right so in this out folder we don't have anything so what i why we have to just create it we have to create it because whatever you know our you know, public uh, whatever our binary or bundles of this application so that i have to uh, put it inside this out folder so that once they deployed so they can use that binaries right so that's why i just so how we can create a binary and put it this out folder so see there's a one command which is provide that uh, uh next js right so npm run and then build so in this build command what we'll do it will just create a binary and put it over there but there's a one issue actually so if you first time create next js 
uh, application so definitely those setting is not there so the, that will not go to in this fo uh, folder right so let me show you let me hit enter so that you have to know okay what is that problem if you create from that scratch so that you can just fix it now see uh, it is got created right and all this finery and file actually just created but if you see in this out folder we don't have nothing right so that means we have to do some additional configuration so we are have to do that you have to go to your uh, package.json file here see there is some command right like dab build start and lint so in this dab com build command you have to just specify and next and export right so this command you have to specify over here so once you specify over here save it and then simply control c over here and let me clear and then i have to just use same command again so let me quickly run this command npm run build right and just hit enter now see uh, there is a one more issue uh, not issue but yeah it is just saying as a warning or just you know in instruction like okay next export has been removed in favor of that export in that configuration.js file right so why this uh, now option is coming because see i am i am actually using that latest one so latest one not support in next jo next the uh, next export uh, command right so that why actually they're giving that you know instruction like okay this is that solution you can just go and use it so if you go this uh, you know open okay let me open this guy so that you can understand okay if you go and see that static exports so you will get okay that command will not work but you have to do additionally uh, you know you have to do additionally uh, setting in this file right so where is this file it is next config.js file you have to just add this output export command inside that folder so where is my uh, file so if you go so this is that my file and inside that i just simply add that command so what is my command or that configuration so this is we have to just use that output as export and save it and simply we have to just uh, fire that command again one more time npm run build now it's got successful right and also see yeah it is got successful but it is again saying you have to remove that command from here because i already configured in this file so we don't record in this package.json so that is that warning but yeah that is fine you can just remove it so let me quickly remove it at and then regenerate again now see this time is perfectly working fine and also it's got created all this you uh, know now this is got generated right so this we we need right so that's why we have to generate it so once you generated your out folder whatever your binary so then what you need to do we have to check okay before deployment we have to check okay whatever we have to just generate it that is how is this working actually what look like right so that is another command you have to just fire over here fire ways firebase and serve command so it is locally hosting whatever you know application we trying to deploy it so it will just create a hosting environment of locally and we can check it before deployment so see this is just created a listening point of that guy right so go copy this guy and go to that browser and let me hit enter so now see it is perfectly working fine there is a no issue right and also we can refresh it is working fine once you're working fine we can control c right and just let me clear it command and now final command to deploy what is that command firebase deploy so this is that last command easily we can deploy it now it's got deployed right so see all that process is has been completed right and also they provide this uh, url so let me quickly copy this url right so this is my hosting url copy this url go back to here and hit enter now our application 
it's got hosted and it is running perfectly in this uh, default domain and if i want to if you want to sh see that uh, hosting url in this project so go to again that console firebase dot google uh, google dot com and here this is my project so go to inside this project and go to that build section go to that hosting environment and if you scroll down you are able to see this is that our you know default domain right and also this is your build which is just publish whatever build you have just published it will just make it over here like if, if whatever you know how many times you just publish it will just maintain over here right so once you just click over here you are able to see your application is running perfectly so uh, that's all for this session thank you have a nice day and don't forget to like subscribe and share